Welcome to my channel. This video is regarding Mongo database indexes. Indexes are an important factor for any database system because it helps in retrieving the query data in a fast and efficient manner. What indexes basically does is it reduces the response time for a read operation. Although during write operation, it is an overhead for the database because it has to update the index along with updation of the data. Now let us try to understand how index works with this example. So if you take a pile of playing cards and you are given a task to find the 8 of hearts from the deck of 52 cards, the average flip you will take to find that 8 of hearts from this deck will be at least 26 because you have to go through each of the card. Consider a situation when you have organized the cards on the basis of suit. So you have separated the flower, the spade, the hurt and diamond separately. So now when you go for selecting 8 of hurt, you will pick the hurt deck first. And the hurt deck will contain only 13 cards. And from that 13 card, the average flip will be around 9. So by creating the pile, you have reduced your scan from 26 to 9. That is exactly what index does for a database reduces the scanning time. Now let us see how indexes work in Mongo database. So let us now try to understand the indexes by an example. So I am creating a database org and in that I will create a collection EMP and then insert the data. Say EMP ID as 10 name as Harry, department as IT. So you can see the data is inserted. So now when I try to query the particular data, so you can see other than the fields which I had given, there is a extra field added underscore id. This underscore id is the default primary key for all the documents in Mongo database. Or id is a unique identifier to identify each document separately for a particular collection. So for this underscore id index, you can provide your own custom value. So for example, I am giving a underscore id value of 20 to insert a new document for a name John. So you see the data has been inserted. Now if I try to add a new document say for another employee ID of another name with the same underscore ID it won't allow me because it will throw a duplicate key error because underscore ID index is a unique key so it can't have duplicate values. Now other than underscore ID you can create your own custom indexes using the method create index. So for example, for the collection EMP, if I want to create an index on the field EMP ID, I'll give the field name and the order. So one represents the ascending order for the particular field and minus one represents descending order. So you can see it mentions that before issuing this command, the number of indexes were 1. That is the default index underscore ID. And after issuing, it's 2. That is EMP ID index has been created. You can also create a compound index by providing both index names together in the create index command. So for example, if I want a compound index on two fields, employee ID, in ascending order and name on descending order so I can give it like this so you can see a new index is created you can list all the indexes present in your particular collection using the command get indexes so you can see it shows the default underscore ID which is the primary key, then EMP ID, which we had created first, 
and the compound index EMPID and the name which we had created later. Let us now look at different types of indexes in Mongo. So other than a single index and a compound index, the other types of indexes in Mongo are multi-key index. Multi-key index is basically an index on an array value in a document of a collection. For example, if I have a collection with an array of documents with a field of ADDR and documents of zip and state field, I can create a multi-index on ADDR.zip like this. So this will create a multi-index on ADDR.zip. The next is unique index. Unique index is a type of index for which we can't have a duplicate value for the particular field. So for a field, say EMPID, if I want it to be unique, I will give unique as true. Partial index is a type of index in which we can set the index only for a particular set of documents rather than keeping the index for the whole collection. If I want to create a partial index on a restaurant's collection, I would go something like this. So in this case, I'll be setting this index only for the set of documents whose rating is greater than 5. So from version 3.2 of Mongo, we have partial index as a superset of sparse index. So sparse index is another type of index. So the next type is text index. Text index is a type of index which you can create on a field which contains string or an array of string elements. You would create a text index by this manner. So here for the field for which you want to create index, you will mention as text. Next type is TTL index or time to live index. A TTL index can be used to remove a set of documents from our collection after the expiry of a specific time. So this can be used in cases where collection contains data such as event logs which had to be cleared in a timely fashion. So a TTL index can be created in this manner. So for the field last modified date, the documents to be deleted after one hour. The final type of index which are going to discuss is geospatial index or 2D sphere index. So this is a special type of index in Mongo database used to create an index on fields storing 2D values, for example, coordinates of a two-dimensional plane. For example, for a collection with such a document having a 2D value, create an index like this. We have to provide the field name for which we want to create and we have to mention it as 2D sphere. If you want to drop an index which you have created, you can do it like this. You can use the drop index method and provide the field whose index you want to delete. So this was a basic introduction of Mongo indexes. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to see more such videos, please like and subscribe.